A fair coin is to be tossed 100 times, with each toss resulting in a head or a tail. If H is the total number of heads and T is the total number of tails, which of the following events has the greatest probability? Okay, um, so I'll probably just sort of base this on intuition. Maybe we'll have to confirm a couple things with computations. But if I look at the five options we're given here, uh, I can certainly cross off option A and E. Um, so option A, the total number of heads is exactly 50. Uh, and if I compare that, for example, with option C, which is that the number of heads is between 51 and 55, I know that C is certainly greater than A. The probability of seeing exactly 50 is not that much different than the probability of seeing exactly 51. And, you know, there are five, five events, five individual outcomes in here that are certainly going to be larger than that one. Um, so it's not going to be that. Option B, T is greater than or equal to 60. Uh, that might be comparable to option C. You know, there's, um, this is almost 50%, isn't it? I don't know, I don't know exactly what the probability of this is, but it's maybe not almost 50, but like, you know, if, if obviously if, if this said T greater than or equal to 50, then that's that's about a 50% chance of happening. This is you know, pretty small. So I, I'm leaning towards option B at the moment. But what's option, the other options? D, heads greater than or equal to 48 and T greater than or equal to 48. So I don't think it's gonna be this one because if I replace both of these 48s, replace both of those with 50, or 51, I guess, if we want to be really precise with what I'm about to do. H greater than or equal to 51 happens 50% of the time. Oh, wait a minute. Now this is a, there's like, there you can't have H equals 60 and T equals 60, right? This is the same as um, if H is greater than or equal to 48, this, implies that t is less than or equal to 52. Um, and this, and, and so if I, if I combine, you know, this is equivalent to that. And so I'm looking at this, this is t between 52 and 48. Um, now that is more likely than that. So I can cross off now option C. Um, the reason I know it's more likely is the range, the range of values here is the same as the range of values here, but these ones are closer to the peak, uh, of the distribution. Okay. And D and option E, H less than or equal to five or H greater than or equal to 95. Okay, just from intuition, these are both extremely small numbers. The probability that H is less than or equal to five, very, very small. Um, so I just need to try and argue with myself which of these outcomes is correct. T between 48 and 52, or T greater than or equal to 60. I think it's gonna be this one. Um, I mean, if I draw a bell curve, which is approximately what the distribution of this thing looks like, I mean, it's not exactly, I guess we could write down exactly what it is. And the peak is at um, 50. I mean, I'm just ballparking things here. Um, 
So t greater than or equal to 60. If this is at 60, and I don't think it is, I think where is where is the one standard deviation? Where's the inflection point of of a bell curve? I don't remember. But the point is, this is a very small range comparatively. From 48 to 52 is just around there, whereas above 60 is is this whole area. So we're looking at that area versus versus this area. Um, like obviously my sketch is completely not, not to scale or anything, um, but my, my intuition is telling me that this one is gonna have a higher probability. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be my answer, B. You can probably justify this a little bit more rigorously with some actual computations. You probably want to basically just assume that the number of outcomes approximate it with a Gaussian. Um, and then I, I, you know, I know there's all these properties of the Gaussian distribution that um, um, you can figure out where the one standard deviation, I, I don't remember, uh, like a Gaussian, I, I don't remember where relative to this, this mean where the one standard deviation thing lies. Would it be at, um, is it 50? So for a standard Gaussian, it's, is it 1.6? Yeah, I, I don't quite remember, but, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't used those types of properties in a really long time. So, uh, I'm just I'm I'm kind of guessing based on intuition that this is going to be answer, but um, if it turns out to be the other option or one of these other ones that I've somehow ruled out, then um, I'll make a comment on the video. I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.